Is Counter-Strike Source any good in 2019? Developed by Turtle Rock Studios and Valve Corporation, it was released in 2004. It utilised the same gaming engine as Half-Life 2. The Source engine brought a whole new level of gaming physics, graphic fidelity and mechanics to Counter-Strike and really set the bar when it came to attention to detail in the FPS genre. It's been over 14 years and players are still playing this game, which goes to show a good game will stand the test of time. This game supports all resolutions that you can throw at it. Also, pretty much any gaming system is good enough to run this game. So if you're rocking a potato machine, have no fear, you can still play CS Source. And that, my friend, is the secret source guarantee. There is still quite a good number of servers available, but population on the servers will vary. There is also quite the diversity of game modes. It was actually hard to find a classic game mode server that was well populated. So in the gameplay, I opted to go for a team deathmatch. Also, I haven't played this game in such a long time. I thought, let's repurchase the game. Let's give it fresh eyes and see how a new player would actually do in CS Source. Even though it's been a good six years since I've played CS Source, I immediately felt comfortable and felt at home with the AWP. It was such a great rush to be able to play aggressively with the AWP. And actually, I think maybe CS Source's AWP is a lot better than CS GO's. The map I was playing was this weird janky version of DDoS 2. But saying that, I really liked it. Given the game's age, the graphics aren't too bad, especially because the gameplay is still freaking awesome. And it's easy to tell that Valve kept this game up to date, as I ran into no issues with Windows 10, which you don't really see with older titles. I've run into a lot of problems on Windows 10 when running older games, but it's not present here in this game. Also, I want to point out the awesomeness that is the game sounds in CS Source. I love the sound of the guns. My experience was so good during gameplay that I ended up losing track of time. I played it for about two and a half hours. With most modern games, I rarely do that. I find myself losing focus after about an hour. It definitely kept my attention and it deserves some brownie points for that. So let's talk about the community. Some players, only some, don't judge it too harshly now, have a tendency to take this game way too serious, even in 2019, which is long, long after the competitive scene of CS Source. Also bear in mind that I was playing a casual game mode such as Deathmatch and later went on to Gun Game, yet there was a couple of people getting very irate over the microphones, forcing me to mute them. Now I think this might be to do with the fact that these players are probably really, really experienced players that have played it since day one and are die hard fans of the game, they probably just get a bit frustrated when they're having a bad day in the game. But still it's something that is an annoyance to me and probably will give you somewhat of a headache as well if you decide to replay Counter Strike Source. Also I did spot an obvious aim botter cheater during my time playing. Fortunately for me, the person was on my team, but really this game is over 14 years old and people still want to cheat on it? Question mark, question mark, question mark? I do find that highly confusing, but with that said, only one in a two and a half hour session? Hey, not that bad really. So it's final conclusion time. CS Source is a vintage revolutionary masterpiece. It's very unique in the sense that it can hold your attention for a long time. This game has matured in a great way. The graphics, although dated, aren't much of an issue thanks to the great gameplay. Thanks to regular updates, this game is optimised to run on most hardware and is compatible with most operating systems, even more niche operating systems like Linux. Even if you're a newcomer to CS Source or a returning player that hasn't played for six years, you can still do really good as player skill prevails over every my consensus of the overall experience within CS Source is that it's a fantastically brilliant game and still is good in 2019. But that's just my opinion. With that said, if you have an opinion, which I guess you do, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. 
Maybe I might do Counter-Strike the original, or Counter-Strike Condition Zero. What do you think? Let me know. And also, don't forget to like this video, it will help me out a ton. As I said this in the Battlefield 3 video, YouTube is not recognising this channel as a gaming channel, so all the continued support towards the gaming content will help my videos be seen by the right people. But anyway, thanks for watching.